FTC 16272 Mark X Robotics and I'm going to show you how to download and set up Android Studio on your MacBook so you can write code on your MacBook and then push it to your robot and in this case uh, it's the control hub. So the first thing you need to do is download Android Studio uh, from this link developer.android.com forward slash studio and all the links will be in the description so it's easy for you to find. Um, and then what you also need to do is download Android File Transfer. And this is important because if you're going to pretty much transfer any files between your Mac and your Control Hub, this is, uh, this is pretty much the way to do it. Finder doesn't allow you to actually open up an Android device for whatever reason. So you have to download this program instead. And you can see here that I'm able to see all my files that are inside the control hub. And what this allows you to do is if you're going to be doing open CV in the future or pretty much any, uh, any program that needs you to drag in a file and download it to your control hub, this is the way to do it if you're on a Mac. So once you have Android studio downloaded and it's running, you need to go to get from VCS. You need to select this option. If you can't see it for whatever reason, you can just go to file new and import from version control. And it's going to take you to the exact same menu that we need. And then once you have this open, you're just going to head on over to firstinspires.org and find the programming resources for first tech challenge. And it's going to open you up to this, uh, GitHub page right here or this GitHub repository, then you're gonna click on this green button and copy this link and just go over and then just paste the link right here. And then just choose where you want to download it. And I'm just leaving the default location for now. And what this is pretty much, and what this is gonna do is download all these files onto your computer. And it's gonna take a second, maybe just, I don't know, like five seconds probably and now it's going to check if all your, if everything is correct. And chances are, if you're downloading Android studio for the first time and you're actually coding for FTC on the first time, you may not have Android 11 downloaded and the robot controller runs on Android 11 at the time of this recording, Android 12 is the latest download is the latest, uh, Android software. So what you'll need to do is download Android 11. So go to SDK manager and I uninstalled Android 12, but what you'll need is Android 11 up here. So just click, uh, just, uh, check this box and hit apply and then hit okay. And then just to make sure everything is working, just hit build again and it'll take a couple seconds, but all most of the problem, like the majority of the problem should go away. You'll probably get a bunch of warnings, but that's fine. As long as you can see build successful, you're good to go. So now you can see that I downloaded everything. Uh, you can see that my control hub is plugged in, but Android Studio still doesn't see my control hub. So what you need to do then is right next to no devices. You just need to click that and then click on troubleshoot device connections. And you can see that Android Studio detects uh, seven devices and this is just a USB-C hub that I'm using just hit rescan devices and as long as it says it finds one Android device with po possible problems and you'll get this uh, code uh, it should be perfectly fine but this is what you're looking for pretty much something similar to this and then hit next and uh, by default USB C debug USB debugging is enabled on the control hub. So that should be perfectly fine. Just hit next. And it, uh, and it sees that there's one Android device, uh, detected. So then just hit finish and it'll take a second. And if that doesn't work, what you'll need to do is just hit rescan devices, go through the same menu again. But what you'll want to do is restart the ADB server. And now you can see ref robotics control hub version one underscore zero, then hit finish. And then now you can see, you can see your control hub up there. So I hope this helps. Uh, this should solve, you know, the majority of your problems. And in case you didn't know if when you want to actually download your code, you finish 
coding and you want to download it and run it on your control hub, you just need to press this play button. It'll take you a few seconds to actually go through, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And once this progress bar disappears, then you'll know you're good to go. So uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope, to, I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any questions about this process, you can leave a comment down below or email us at markxrobotics at gmail.com and we'll try to answer your question as soon as possible.